Webster optimum cycle length. Webster's optimum cycle length. Webster has derived a formula for optimum cycle length to minimize the total delay. To minimize the total delay, according to this, optimum cycle length C naught equal to 1.5 times of L. 1.5 L plus 5 divided by 1 minus sigma of y i sigma of y i. So, here C naught equal to optimum cycle length optimum cycle length in seconds L equal to total lost time total lost time of all phases of all phases suppose if it is a four phase signal and each phase having lost time of three seconds then four into three is the L like that so L is total lost time of all phases example for four phase signal four phase signal if last time per phase is three seconds then L equal to 12, 12 seconds because per phase it is 3 seconds means 4 phases 4 into 3 12 seconds that is L then sigma yi is nothing but y1 plus y2 plus and so on yn n equal to number of phases number of phases this is sum of sum of critical flow ratio critical flow ratios sum of critical flow ratios of all phases of all phases Here, critical flow ratio y i means critical lane volume divided by saturation flow. Critical lane flow critical lane flow divided by saturation flow of that lane saturation flow of critical lane of saturation flow of lane okay critical lane flow by saturation flow that is y a critical lane uh, critical flow ratio which is critical flow ratio critical flow ratio of eighth phase eighth phase this y a now here uh, no, green splitting how to split the green time green splitting for different phases for different phases 
effective green time effective green time g for ith phase gi equal to c naught minus total last time multiplied by yi divided by sigma yi so for every phase we can find effective green time by using this formula saturation for definition saturation flow definition is if signal if signal were green for 1 hour the number of the maximum number of vehicles the maximum number of vehicles can pass through the lane through the lane in one hour in one hour that is saturation flow 